All right, folks. So I just wanted to do a quick video here where I show how I'm going to set up this Yesu um, 817ND. It's actually FT-817ND um, ham radio to use power poles uh, for power sources. So we're going to do that by using this device here. But before we do, why don't you go grab yourself a nice cold one, come on back, and we'll get started. Hopefully everybody made it back. Uh, this device here is going to plug into the back of this uh, this Yesu 817ND and it's going to allow me to connect power sources that have power pole connections like this to the radio and then be able to power this off of a variety of different devices. The main driver behind uh, my desire to get this uh, connected to power poles is that I want to be able to take this uh, radio uh, more portable than I have in the past. Today it's mostly used inside and I just use this uh, AC adapter that came with it. And if I do take it outside in the backyard to a park, something like that, uh, I just typically use the internal battery supply, power supply that comes with it. Um, and that really doesn't last very long and it's not the most desirable power situation. So that's why we're going to go ahead and do this. The power pole adapter that we're going to use, I got off of the internet from a guy named Jonathan Poland, call sign N0WL. Uh, here you can see a link to his eBay store, and I'll go ahead and post that below. But uh, anyhow, big thanks to him for making this product available to people like me. As I mentioned earlier, this radio is typically used inside the house. And uh, what I did is I purchased this acrylic stand for it but uh, the stand does have a tab in the back that's gonna render it useless moving forward. Anyhow, let's go ahead and do the installation of the adapter. If you take a look on the back of the radio, you'll see a screw here that is used for grounding your radio, and we're gonna go ahead and have to take this screw out. Okay, now the screw's out, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna plug the adapter in. With the adapter plugged in, you can still see the color connectors for positive and negative. This did come with a little bit of a longer screw that we're going to use to go ahead and attach the device to the ground. Here's the screw that came with it. I actually want to use a screw that has a little bit more of a knob at the end of it. I'm not sure what the technical term is, but the reason I want to do that is I want to be able to easily ground this radio. And uh, with this screw, I don't think that that's going to be something that is going to be um, happening. So just go ahead and I tighten the screw up. And uh, we're in business. Let's go ahead and give this thing a check. Before we check, I just want to show a couple different examples. So here is a 12 volt cigarette outlet um, that I can use to power the radio. I can plug this into my car or into my 12 volt battery box that I built and I can use the power pull connector there. So that makes this a little bit more portable. Maybe I can operate it from a vehicle from a, from a park bench with my battery pack. Um, and then the other one is, this is a power pole adapter that came with a battery that I recently bought. And this is the BioNO Power. Um, I believe this is the BPP120. We're going to use this to go ahead and test the radio. So let's get it set up. So I'm just going to go ahead and plug this into the power pack. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to connect the power pole adapter. You see that's easily done. I'm going to go ahead and turn on my power pack and then I'm going to try to activate the radio. And you can see these basic tests work. So that's really it. I want to thank everybody for watching. 